Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to take a walkthrough through DataQuest uh, platform. Now, I already finished all the three paths, which is Data Analyst in Python, Data Engineer, and Data Scientist in Python. Now, they have four paths. I finished these three, but this one I'm not interested, so I didn't take it. And let's just go course by course and see. Now, basically, uh, here, if you can see, sorry, in Data Scientist in Python, released 22.4, and Data Analyst was released also in the same day because in Data Analyst path, all the courses are already included in the data scientist python path so additionally some courses i'm going to show you right now here so these two certificates was released uh once i finished the data scientist in python uh, track so let's just go step by step okay basically they have like eight steps and in each step there are a bunch of courses like in step number one there are two courses in step number two there are six courses and so on so w one of the things that I like about DataQuest that they have a very good content. Their content is amazing and it's very detailed. I mean, let's, let's just go step by step. Huh? Uh, Python for Data Science Fundamentals, if you click on it, it's actually all these chapters. I call them chapters. They're like mini courses, but chapters, you finish the entire chapter, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine you finish these nine chapters you'll have uh, a certificate called Python for data science fundamentals and you can see that it's included in data scientists and in the data analyst also in path uh, you can see that they they teach fundamental in, in very details like this it's going to tell the fundamentals of python what is python how to you know hello world and all that stuff and then start with variables how the variables work, how the lists work, and then conditional statements, um, if logical operators, and then you have loops, dictionaries, functions are very important. There are like two chapters for functions. And then they'll teach you about uh, how to install Jupyter Notebook using Anaconda. And at the end, they're gonna give you a project with a solution, and you can apply all the things that you learn in these chapters and this project. Let's just go and see, okay, step one, Python for data science intermediate. Here they immediately start with cleaning the data, basic data analysis, object oriented, important, but most of the courses they don't teach this thing. And then how to work with date and time. And at the end, they have project, basically you apply everything you learn in these chapters and this project. Let's just go back give me to the step number four okay uh we finished step number one which is two chapter two courses let's just go step number two after you finish learning the fundamentals of python which is uh, if loops conditional functions lists all this stuff they start immediately with uh, pandas and numpy now pandas is a library for data frame and data munging and data cleaning and numpy is a library for uh, mathematical computational let's just click on it and you can see here one two three four five six seven yeah seven chapters in this course again it's uh, included in data analyst and data scientist python in both path uh, just let's just click on one and uh, yeah let's let's just see how this thing works okay i'm gonna just go click here and start now one thing you should know that data quest is all about bunch of text and then with detailed explanation and then you can read on the left and see what you should do here and then you write your solution here sometimes you can also download the data files the data set so you just click here and it will start in downloading and then you can click on the run code 
you can see the results here or you can just get, get help get a hint or get the answer and then you submit the answer and then you go to the next screen and so on there are no videos in uh, data quest here you can just see all the topics that you teach in this course and at the end the thing that i like about them uh they give a summary before like here and 13 they'll give you a summary that what are the things that you learned and then at the end they'll give you a pdf basically what are the things that you learn in this kind of like summary uh for what you learn in this course click on it you just download it and you can read it later on It's a good thing. Uh, I think I don't think that data cam doesn't do that. Go back to the dashboard. Uh, exploratory data visualization after the pandas and numpy. After you learn all these things, you'll learn about data visualization. Basic stuff: line charts, multiple plots, bar plots, histogram, and then every ch every uh, every course or every, uh, yeah every course has some project to do, which is very good. Storytelling through data visualization, then data cleaning, data cleaning in Python advanced. You know, there are like two courses for that. And then there is a project. You do it at the end. Survey data. Good. Let's see here are two guided project. Basically they say guided because let this let me show you how how it works. There's a Jupyter notebook on the on the right side. It'll be loaded. Okay. And here you can see the instructions. Now let's just let's go back to the first one. Yeah, here. So I'll tell you all the details. There are a bunch of links. You have to go and check it out. Survey. This is the survey data. They downloaded the data from here. Here. Which is the same one is used here. You just click here and you can download the Jupyter notebook file also and so on just click next and see the instructions and write it down you can write the solution here and see the results They just go back and then step three you have to learn about command line They use they're using Ubuntu. Yeah, I think it's Ubuntu. Basically, you have to learn about current uh, Linux uh, systems. They'll teach you the basic command line, which will help you a lot in data engineering path also. H here, the terminal is going to take time because you're loading. I think, uh, yeah, here, Linux. That's why. Now these things, I don't think. Uh, yeah. Data camp, they do teach you these things, but in a separate course and different path, not included in the path. But in data course, they, they're, they're included in the path here and also in data engineering. I'll, I'll show you in a few, maybe in the next video. Uh, text processing and command line. And then you have a SQL, intermediate SQL, and then advanced SQL. Let's like see, three courses for SQL and basic web scraping, data analysis and business business metrics and all the stuff mm, then step five ah yeah, here now look i have finished data scientist in python uh and machine learning scientist in python from data camp uh i don't think data camp they explained statistics in very details as much as data quest they did i mean look there are like two steps that they teach you 
calculus, linear algebra, linear regression, all these things in details and statistics and probability in very such details that the company didn't, they didn't teach that. And these are very important. Even in machine learning, uh, Python, uh, machine learning, machine learning engineer, I think, machine learning engineer in Python track they didn't teach uh, in much detail so as much as data course did so if you want to learn about the math behind data science and machine learning i would highly recommend that you check data quest and they're teaching in a very very nice way let, let me show you some again see pdfs at the end of the course see there's no video but the illustration are very easy to understand. Some images are GIF images, they are like animated images. See how easy it is? And then they start using Python. So basically, it's like teaching you statistics in Python. Very easy, very nice. Lay down from the beginning, from scratch. And it's in, in details, like there's this fundamentals, intermediate, and there's also courses at the end. Amazing. So after statistics and uh, some um, math about machine learning, we will start with decision trees, which is an, one of the algorithms of uh, machine learning. And we have deep learning also. Let me just show you one course. What is a nonlinear model? See all them very easily explained here. And then you apply it here. Now they also teach you about Kegel. We all know that Kegel is a website that uh, let you do some uh, projects in machine learning or data analysis. They also teach you about Kegel and some topics in data science and NLP. Then just click on Kegel and see. You can also see download the test data, train data. They're basically, they're um, solving some uh, competitions on Kaggle, explaining Kaggle, which is very important uh, thing that every data scientist or machine learning engineer should know that what is Kaggle and how to solve uh, competition in Kaggles. We have exploring topics in data science, naive Bayes and Kainers, which is like uh, should be sequel to uh, decision tree, but they put uh, naive Bayes and Kenyan's neighbors in this course. And then you have NLP, natural language processing. And at the end, they have functions, advanced, data structures and algorithms. This thing that the that company doesn't teach data structures and algorithms, as uh, I remember. Python programming, advanced, if you can see, uh, data. Python, introduction to Python and intermediate to Python was in step number one, but you, you have to know a couple of advanced stuff. And then command line was already here, I think. Uh, three, yeah, here, elements of command line. They teach you in details also here. And get and get version for sharing your codes, you know, Spark and map reduce for big data. So I really like the, the structure of uh, data scientists in Python track and data because they teach everything in details well, the best thing that you're gonna get in this uh, track is the math statistics and calculus and linear algebra for machine learning i would highly recommend you guys if you want that in the next video i'm going to explain data analyst which is exactly the same by the way in data analyst the courses are exactly the same in data scientist but data scientist has more courses than data analyst so you can say that I already explained the data analyst one.
next video inshallah i will be explaining data engineering i won't be explaining data analysis in r because i didn't take that and i'm not interested in r so i'm going to explain data engineer thank you for watching please like and subscribe bye bye